Welcome back. So Chrome OS 132 has rolled out this week to the vast majority of Chromebooks. So in this video, I thought I'd give you an overview of some of the new features you can expect to see. First up, if we click over on the left into accessibility, and then you're going to be looking for cursor and touchpad here. So we click into that and we're going to see a couple of big updates here. So we've got the face control functionality release now. So as the name suggests and the description tells us, use your head movements and facial expressions to control your Chromebook. There's a really good article if you click into learn more here as well that gives you a lot more detail on exactly how you should be using this and setting it up. But the idea is it's pretty intuitive and it's going to use the webcam to look at your eye movement, your head movement, your mouth movement to allow you to use it to navigate your Chromebook. So this is some functionality that I first saw demoed at the Chromebook Showcase back in May last year. I was really impressed with it then and could see how valuable this could be to somebody that needs to use this to navigate their Chromebook. So if we want to turn this on and take a look, let's minimize that out of the way. So the toggle to turn it on is at the top here. So I'm turning it on. I've got my webcam privacy shutter open. You see that the icon appears straight away to say that we're using it and this slightly less smooth movement of the mouse as I get used to it is just me using my head to control and move the mouse around. So it's really clever. I really recommend taking a look at this, whether it's something you use or someone you know may be able to make use of it. Um, if I move right down to the bottom here, you can see that the default option, for example, to left click is a smile. You can obviously click into these and change it and you open your mouth wide as the default option for scrolling. So it's something that's just really clever and for those that can take advantage of it, it's really gonna revolutionize, I think, the way they access their Chromebook and the web. Okay, so turning face control off for the moment, the other option I wanted to show you that's new, I believe, in Chrome OS 132, in the accessibility menu under the cursor and touchpad, is you've now got the option here to disable the built-in touchpad. So you can see that right here. So it's default to never, of course, but you can come in and select either when a mouse is connected, which will do as it describes, or you can pick always. And don't worry, you can tap it a first time and you're gonna get this kind of timeout window that's gonna revert it off if you don't do anything within sort of 25 seconds or wherever it started counting down from there. You can, of course, use your uh, cursor arrows on the keyboard and just go to cancel to end that sooner as well. Next up, if I'm back into the Chrome browser and I click on the menu in the top right, under passwords and autofill, I'm gonna go into the password manager. So usually to view these passwords, you'll click and you'll be prompted, of course, for your Chromebook password, your Google account password, or your PIN. So if you're lucky enough to have a Chromebook with a fingerprint reader like this, the Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714 that I showed on the channel last year, you can now use that fingerprint reader to authenticate in the Chrome browser for both your passwords and for autofill data. So it's great to have that for these more premium Chromebooks to take advantage of having that reader. I also thought we were meant to be seeing rounded corners in apps in Chrome OS 132, but you can see that's not the case here. So hopefully that'll be coming up in Chrome OS 133. Let me know in the comments what you think of any of these new features, what you'd like to see in Chrome OS and what you're noticing in Chrome OS 132. And in the meantime, if you want to check out another Chromebook video from the channel, the YouTube algorithm thinks you're gonna like the one on screen now.